Hi, John Levine here with Georgia Wills Trust and Probate Firm and another in our Ask Me Anything video series. So today the question is, do executors get paid? They do, unless you say they can't. So um, there is a default in the language or uh, the statute on point that says that executors get paid and it says how much they get paid and it's based on the value and the type of asset that they have to deal with. So even if you've got a will that doesn't say anywhere in it that there is compensation for the executor, the default is probably going to be that they're entitled to compensation. Now you could have a will that says no to compensation and in that circumstance they would probably not get compensation, although they could probably still petition the court for permission to do that if the circumstance is warranted. So I do not recommend writing in your will that the executor cannot get paid. You know, there are some people who think, okay, I want all of these children to get the same amount and one of the executor, the executor is one of the children to me, that seems unfair. The client thinks about it and everybody's getting the same thing, except that one of the children has to do all the work and that is not fair, in my opinion. I think you should leave compensation as an option in your will. I just think that's the fair thing to do because if there's anything unusual going on, being an executor can become like a full-time job. So it maybe it used to be easy in the old days, it's not really easy anymore. You know, families have become more difficult. The courts have become more difficult. It's very time consuming and stressful. So I do think you should leave compensation as an option for the executor. Understand that they don't have to take it. Um, and sometimes we will advise people it's probably not a good idea to take it in this circumstance. So why would I say something like that? You know, the, the amount of the compensation might be relatively small and the likelihood that there's a troublesome family member who's just going to lash out if you do, sometimes it's just not worth it. You know, if you're going to get $3,000 back, but this person's going to rake you over the coals and drag you into court and then you're going to have to pay $20,000 defending yourself maybe it's not worth it. So sometimes we will advise people in that circumstance, eh, let's just let it go and hope that keeps the peace. Or, you know, sometimes you just can't avoid trouble. They're gonna find something else to rake you over the coals. So keep that in mind. Um, it's not black and white. There's lots of shades of gray, but I do think it's important to leave the option if, um, if it's not going to be problematic for some other reason. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you in future Ask Me Anything videos. And if we can help you with something, please reach out. We would love to help you with probate, estate planning, adult guardianship. Let us know if we can help.